The music is playing. The apron is on. We're here live at a Spock 61 by Carrier Kitchen, uh, where we're gonna merge uh, plant food, <laughs> plant-based food. <laughs> plant-based food. And fast food, and a G-Monkey. They go together in a delicious way. I want you to say hi uh, to Mark Shadle. Mark is uh, the chef, uh, what is his, he and his lovely wife, been running for many years uh, G-Zen uh, yes. down in Brantford, which I want to quote the New York Times here. They called it a vegan retreat for carnivores. Sure. And I got to tell you, the food in there was so fantastic, and, and the best part was, to, to a carnivore, you, yeah. could, you couldn't tell. Sure. It was really delightful stuff. You've reimagined it. You had a truck for a couple. You still had the truck, but yep. you but you said, you know what? Let's let's take the really gourmet stuff and kind of dial it down a bit and and, and kind of do some fast food, right? Yeah, yeah. Every decade we have to reinvent ourselves, you know. So, mm -hmm. so, so the this, chef's bylaws. So this, yeah, yeah. So this decade has you know become more of like a vegan, you know, our vegan fast food. We're mm -hmm. trying to I'm trying to save the planet like one meal at a time. Uh huh. One fast, you know, faster yeah. meal at a time. And 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 as we go into this uh, butternut squash dish, which we're which, by the way, he grew those swatches. Himself. Yeah, these are grown in Durham, Connecticut. We're going, to hear, we're going to hear more about that in a second. Uh, go ahead. Uh, you start to work, and I'll, I'll ask a couple of questions along the way. We're doing a butternut squash almond bisque. Is that it? That's right. God, it's it's a, uh, squash almond bisque. Uh -huh. Been making this for over 30 years. Right. And, you know, you have the recipe. You can make this at home. It's very easy to make. Easy. You take take uh, one decent-sized butternut squash. How and then we have onions, carrots, and celery that we're going to saute. And you're just going to saute that squash. As, as, and if you notice, it's already diced up pretty finely, which means it's going to cook yeah. pretty quickly. Sure. Right? So you just add all your... All your veg, you saute that. That's a different kind of holy trinity there. You got uh, it almost looks like carrots, yeah, but like, it's not. Yeah, we call this the mirepoix. It's uh -huh. Carrot, celery, and onions. Talk about talk about the transition from G Zen to G Monkey. You had your you had your G Monkey truck. You had a food truck going on, and that yeah. was a huge success. Um, simpler dishes. Yeah, simpler dishes. It's more geared for fast food. Sure. Quick pick, you know, mm -hmm. quick pickup. We have seats so you can come in and sit down. Right. But here's the thing, and I've and I've been a big proponent of this uh, for a long time. Just because if you're on the run, if you gotta go to fast food, you can still eat healthy, and that's got to be the, the the big draw of G Monkey up in West Hartford because yes, you know is. people who are in a hurry, you don't have to go through a drive through somewhere. You can get to an even better meal at your place, right? You can get a great meal here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. And we're not, you know, obviously now we're in West Hartford, so uh -huh. we have a bigger population to draw from. Right. A lot of people. We, oh, but your name, people are traveling. Well, from we all had the over. food truck. We've had the, you know, the food truck was coming to Hartford, uh -huh. Billings Forge, and around Hartford right. for ten years. Sure. So, so now we're stationary up there. Okay, we've got, how long is this gonna? We're gonna cook down? this until it starts to brown. Yeah, okay. you can stir it. So, uh, and then we're gonna add. To work. Oh, we're gonna add our butternut squash okay. to this. Okay. So All right. Your carrots, and now here comes the butternut squash. And then okay. we're gonna add a little bit of our basil and our salt and pepper. You were talking about you, you grew these yourself. Little cinnamon. Uh, and actually, you said something interesting during the commercial break because I don't. I have mixed results with garden. I'm better with flowers. Uh, but you said you could you can grow butternut squashes just about. Butternut's anywhere. easy to grow in Connecticut. Yeah, how come? It just it takes. It's kind of like growing arugula. Anyone can do it if you have right. a little plot of land, uh -huh. even a small little garden. Does the soil matter? I mean, it's, it's always better to have good soil, but yeah. it, it's pretty. It's a pretty hardy plant. Right. And just three months beginning to end, and you you've got butternut. And you have squashes. nice butternut squash. I you love can use. That. You can use, you know, a scoop like this to scoop oh, the seeds out. Oh, I just out. use my hands. Is that wrong? Scoop it out. You can I mean, use, you I can wouldn't do that hands. if I were running a restaurant, but you in know? my kitchen. <laughs> and then you wash these, uh -huh. put them on a plate, dry them, and then you have seeds for the next year. I love that. So when you go to a farmer's market and you get some of these other squashes, right. you can try to do that the same way. Save do, your seeds. Do you barter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give you good seeds if you hook me up with a, some arugula, and then, sure. then every, everybody wins. How long are we are, are we? Uh, All right, roasting? so now we're going to add our vegetable stock okay. to this. Mm -hmm. And these are just these are just basically some of the scraps that I used when I was prepping my carrots, onions, celery, and right. squash. So we uh -huh. can stir keep, that up. I could keep stirring it. And then once this boils, this, this is going to simmer for about 20 minutes or so. And then we take our trusty hand blender and puree it and with a little bit of our almond butter. Okay, let's talk about that almond butter because we're going to do some more stuff than just the... Uh, yeah, we have a couple other things to do okay. to add to this when it's done. Right, okay. Go for that. Okay, so we have, and this is going to be our finished product, which uh -huh. is here. Right. But we yeah. also have a cashew parmesan. Let's talk about that because, you know, when I hear cashew and I know uh, we, we're talking ca cheese that's made with that. Made with cashews. Right? Yeah. All right, how do we do yeah, that? Yeah, these aren't soaked or anything. These are raw, unsalted cashews. Mm -hmm. And we put them in our trusty Cuisinart. Right. And we add a little bit of nutritional Go yeast. Go ahead, throw them in there. 
Yeah, can make some noise. All right, we'll make we some got noise. got time. I ain't going anywhere. You? You, you got to. We'll add our nutritional yeast. Uh -huh. what, what are we throwing in there? Nutritional this yeast? This is nutritional yeast, okay. yeah. Okay. Which is a yeast that's grown on molasses. It has a lot of B12. It's a complete protein. Oh. So a lot, of, a lot of vegans will use this. And by the way, if you're thinking, well, where, where the heck am I going to get that? Any natural food store is going to hook Any you natural up food store. Right. You know, I like to support the small independent ones, but uh -huh. there's any natural food store will have it. Go ahead, pulse that. All right, and well, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to make a little noise. Oh, we, oh it's not plugged in. Uh <laughs> oh, well, we can imagine. <laughs> All right, for those of you who don't know what it's all like, it's like this. Oh, loud noise. Than that. <laughs> yell, loud noise. Here's the And this is our product. finished product. Okay, but now, so this is, part, I mean, it looks like Parmesan cheese, clearly. Plate this all up when it, because it all comes together, right? Oh, yeah, so this is, we're going to add, we're going to do one more recipe with okay. this as well. But Go. yeah, it all comes together, and this is a great, you can put this on pasta, on salads, on soups. I love, love so it's a great way to incorporate some nuts into your diet. I am betting the last uh, quickie that we're going to do is all this stuff right here, right? Yeah, the last thing Go we're going to do uh -huh. is we're going to add. Come on over here. Don't, don't be shy. Go for it. We're gonna add our, our we have, oh, we have tamari. Okay. All right, what do we got here? We have tamari, liquid smoke, put a little maple syrup in there. Go just ahead. a little bit or the yeah, whole thing? just a tablespoon or so. Uh, That's good. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna add our liquid said, smoke. Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna add a pinch of the paprika. Thank God. I saw I saw all the just so you know, I saw this, I went, if that's going in all that, I'm now this but. is paprika, but a, oh, if, no. if, if you have a recipe, it's not cayenne. Okay. If you have a recipe for cayenne. smoked paprika, right. all mm -hmm. you can do is put regular paprika on a little sheet put, pan. Put that in quickly. Put because, it in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then and then you have smoked paprika. So then there we have go. our we have our coconut, which is a raw big flake coconut. Uh-huh. And you just stir this up. And then Stir this up. Right. And we're going to put it onto a sheet pan. Roast that for how long? And we put it in the oven for five minutes. Check.